Hi, this is Judy with Travel Trail Sale, and today I am super excited to share with you one of my all-time favorite cookie recipes. It's a recipe for monster cookies. I've been making this recipe for many years, and it's been one of my family's favorite cookies, and uh, I've been I've made it for friends and coworkers, and it's always been a popular cookie. So today I wanted to share it with you. If you enjoy baking cookies, or if you enjoy eating cookies, I would highly recommend giving this recipe a try. And I'm, I'm just so excited to share, share the recipe with you today. It's a recipe that goes back many years. It comes from a family recipe book. And I just want to show you, this was actually done on a typewriter. So that's how old the recipe is. So it's, uh, it's been a long, around a long time and I am just so excited to share it with you. This is um, a recipe that you can make ahead of time. So, for example, if you wanted to make the dough at your home base, you can refrigerate it for many days. You could even refrigerate or freeze it. Um, and then you could bring the dough with you camping and have fresh baked cookies in your camper. So it's a great recipe, again, because you can make it ahead of time. And it's actually best if you do refrigerate the dough because it gives uh, the ingredients a chance to kind of, you know, blend together and it's a lot easier to use the dough when it's been refrigerated. So it's a great recipe. It, um, it would be a great cookie um, to have after, a, say, a long day of, of hiking or biking. Uh, it's a cookie you could take with you as a snack or you could enjoy when you get back to your camper. And it does have oats in it, so do I, I dare say maybe you could even have it for breakfast as, you know, as a last resort. I'm going to walk through the ingredients with you. This will be posted on our website, so don't worry about having to take notes. You can always get the recipe from our website. And then we'll actually make the dough and then tomorrow we'll bake them. So let's walk through the ingredients that you'll need for this recipe for monster cookies. You'll need one stick of unsalted butter, softened, one and a quarter cups of light brown sugar, and one cup of regular sugar. I have those mixed together in this bowl just for convenience. Then you'll also need half a tablespoon of vanilla and three-fourths teaspoon of either light syrup or honey. I like to use honey one and a half cups of creamy peanut butter and I like to use just your basic Jif creamy peanut butter. I have tried using the natural peanut butter and it doesn't seem to work quite as well in this recipe. So I would just go with your basic Jif creamy peanut butter. You'll also need two teaspoons of baking soda, three eggs, four and a half cups of old-fashioned oats, and then half a cup of chocolate chips and half a cup of M&Ms. And I have those mixed together in this bowl. And I would be very generous with those half a cups. So let's go ahead and make the dough for this recipe. So we're going to start with creaming our butter and sugars together. And by creaming, I mean you'll just want to mix it until it's nice and smooth. So I'm going to put the butter in the bowl. I'm going to add the sugar to it. And again, your butter has to be really nice and, and soft. And before I use a mixer, I'm just going to kind of do this by hand a little bit to give it kind of a head start. Yeah, I just, I can't wait to try these cookies. I should say, I can't wait to eat these cookies. <laughs> All right, so we're going to mix this until it's nice and creamy. This may take a couple minutes, so. This is why you want your butter nice and soft so it doesn't go flying everywhere, and it's a lot easier to mix. Mix that a little bit. 
So, yeah, you'll want a cream just so, you know, you get all the butter mixed in really well with the sugar and there aren't any, you know, lumps or things like that. So, so this is what your dough should look like after you cream the butter and the sugars together. See, it's nice and nice and smooth. Now I'm going to add the vanilla and, and uh, honey. Make sure to get all that goodness in there. I will add the uh, peanut butter. Lots of peanut butter in this one, so hey, you know, that's that's good protein, so I'm kind of thinking these are healthy cookies. So make sure we get all of that yummy peanut butter in there. There's a little bit more there. All right. Then we're going to add the baking soda. And finally, the three eggs. Just pour those in. And now we're going to mix all of those ingredients together. Again, this may, may take a couple minutes to mix them really well. So you want to take your time with this uh, mixing. Okay, so now your dough should look like this with all those yummy ingredients mixed in. Okay, now the last step is to stir in the oats and the chocolate chips and the M&Ms. And I do that by hand and I will do that a little bit at a time because it is quite a bit to stir in. So we'll add some of our oats and we'll just stir that in by hand. You know, an interesting fact actually is that this recipe is cut in half. So <laughs> if you want to feed an army, you can actually double this recipe and uh, make a lot of cookies. Uh, but you'll need a much bigger bowl. <laughs> All right, we're getting there a little bit at a time. Again, I think with, you know, baking, you just, you know, want to take it nice and easy and um, you know don't don't rush through it this is actually a good workout for your arm <laughs> all right and then we'll add the last bit of oats oh my gosh this dough smells so good Pretty good. And then the last step is to stir in the chocolate chips and M&Ms. And again, I'll do that a little bit at a time. I mean, who would not love peanut butter? chocolate chips and M&Ms together. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then we'll add the last bit here and we'll continue to give it a good stir. Just kind of stirring in or kind of folding in those M&Ms and chocolate chips and oats into the dough. 
All right. So this is how your dough should kind of look when you're all done. All right, we're going to put this dough on the waxed paper. And I just try and kind of flatten it out a little bit. Again, it's, <laughs> it makes a lot of, a lot of dough. But you can see, I don't, it's kind of um, sticky. So you, you could bake it, but it's just it's so much easier to um, work with the dough after it's been refrigerated. And again, those you know, yummy ingredients have, a have time to kind of blend together. So I'm going to wrap this in wax paper. So I got my dough all wrapped up here. And uh, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator, and then tomorrow we're going to bake some cookies. Well, welcome back. We have our monster cookie dough here. It has refrigerated overnight, so the flavors have had a chance to kind of blend together. The dough is going to be a lot easier to work with now. Um, for baking, I do like to use air-baked pans. I have two small ones that I use in the camper. And I just, as I, as one pan is baking, I get the next pan ready. So I just constantly, you know, baking cookies and, and keeping the process going. Um, for uh, these cookies, I do like to use parchment paper. So you'll need a sheet of parchment paper. And I'm just going to scoop the dough. I do like to kind of press it down just to shape it a little better. And you'll just leave it like that on the on the pan. You don't have to flatten it or anything. And you do want to give them a little bit of space on the on the pan. They don't spread a lot, but it just helps them bake uh, a little bit more evenly if they have a little space. So I'm just going to continue with scooping up my dough here. It smells pretty good. Can't wait to try these. <laughs> and on these small pans, I could probably get um, six cookies at a time. So you can't make a whole lot of cookies at one time in a, in a camper, but um, you could always just bake part of the dough and put the rest back in the refrigerator and bake it, you know, the next day or um, you could freeze it. So you don't necessarily have to bake it all in one day. All right, so I got my, my cookie dough there ready to bake. So I'm gonna slide it in the oven and set the timer for 10 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm gonna get the next pan ready so that when the 10 minutes, when the timer goes off, uh, I can just make a quick switch. So I'm going to slide these in real quick. All right, set my timer for 10 minutes and we'll see how they look after 10 minutes. So here's our uh, batch of monster cookies after 10 minutes. Um, you'll notice that it's uh, kind of soft on the top, which is good because they'll continue to bake on the pan. So I'm going to let them rest on the pan for five minutes and then I'm going to transfer them to uh, just wax paper to cool the rest of the way. So those look pretty good. You want them just a little brown um, and again kind of soft on the touch. Uh, a, a soft, you know, if you touch the top where it's kind of soft, um, that's probably just perfect. So I'm going to put in the next batch in and we'll just continue to roll. So we want these cookies to bake at 375 and with our oven and our camper we have found that with this external thermometer that the temperature will vary widely. So even though I have the knob set around 375 we have noticed that the temperature can go as low as like 340 and as high as about 410. So it's 
all over the board. So I would recommend getting one of these external thermometers so you can monitor your oven and keep an eye on how the temperature is doing so that your cookies don't burn. All right, well, I got a couple of monster cookies here. Hey, Erling, you want to come try some cookies? <laughs> I would love them. These are my favorites. I love monster cookies. Here, have a cookie. Wow. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Thanks. I, these really are the best cookies ever. Mmm. That was really good, Judy. Thanks for baking these. This is always, again, these are the biggest hit among all our friends and family, and I just love them, so thank you. Anytime. You know, these are like chewy and peanut buttery and chocolatey. It's everything good. It's good. Yeah, so it give the recipe a try and let me know how it goes. I'd love to hear your comments and would love to hear what your favorite recipe is um, for baking in your camper. Leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.